The 24th of January is a day set aside by the United Nations as International Day of Education in celebrating the role of education in achieving peace and development. In commemoration of the day, UN says taking action for education is taking action for prosperity and calls for positive moves towards educational development. According to United Nations, 258 million children and youth still do not attend school. 617 million children and adolescents cannot read and do basic math, while less than 40% of girls in sub-Saharan African complete lower secondary school, and some 4 billion children and youth refugees are out of school. That statistics look scary and their right to education is being violated. In Lagos State, for instance, out-of-school children ratio is alarming for a cosmopolitan society and needs to be tackled as well as involving means to solve the basic economic challenge faced by the ordinary family. Uh, we have a lot of students uh, that are out of school in general, but I would say with, with, within Lagos State, we are starting from the baseline. So we're starting to ensure that we know where our students are, uh, we know what interventions are needed, and we are ensuring that whatever program it is we're implementing, we're ensuring that they are sustainable. The 2020 theme which focuses on the many ways learning can empower the people, protect the planet, build shared prosperity and foster peace is a sure way to help rebuild the society. If all students, all pupils, everyone has enough education about the sanctity of peace in every community, then we will not have uh, is, uh, cases of, uh, of uh, rancor, of of conflict. Knowledge is power but education is the key. With education you can go anywhere all over the world. Without inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong opportunities for all, countries may not succeed in achieving gender equality and breaking the cycle of poverty that is leaving millions of children, youth and adults behind. Jacinta Obiupu, STV News.